So I wanted to move into the buys that we're making in the portfolio. You have a few new companies that you're adding. You've already mentioned some of them by name, but let's go into specifics of the new companies you're buying uh, and then the company that you uh, are adding to as well. Yeah. So first of all, let's let's just talk about Marvell. So Marvell, uh, ticker symbol MRVL, uh, I'm going to add $25,000 to them, which that's pretty big, right? It's a 5% position, but I really just like what's happening to them in the near term. And we talked about the overall picture of cloud computing. Uh, if I could collapse a little bit here to talk about the drivers behind Marvell, there's a very interesting near-term catalyst happening to them. The run rate for different cloud companies, if you're looking at, as I noted earlier, there's four hyperscalers. Meta doesn't have a cloud computing division. They use all internally. Amazon Web Services, that's 110 billion in run rate. Microsoft Azure, it's about 66 billion. Google Cloud, it's about 45 billion. I got that from uh, Altimeter Research. Now, growth rates wise, here's what's different. Google Cloud is growing the fastest at about 35%. So small is growing the fastest. Azure is growing at about 34% in constant currency. Amazon Web Services, 19. And if we look at their bookings last quarter for uh, annual uh, revenue run rate, um, Amazon was at 4.6 billion. Microsoft 4.3, Google 4. So, right, like they're growing in larger percentages and in absolute numbers in the recent course, they're kind of catching up. And the reason is both of these companies did a lot to court AI companies and kind of AI workloads. And with Azure, they release every quarter. They say, we had 34% growth last quarter. If we didn't have our AI business, it would be 21. That's what I was talking about earlier, David, where I'm like, if these companies didn't have AI for their cloud businesses, their growth rates would look very pedestrian right now. Uh, they would not be valued at anything close to the multiples they are today because it wouldn't look like they have the same kind of open-ended future that they have. So Amazon, they realize this is a problem. It's all hands on deck. I think they're going to be amongst the most aggressive spenders next year. And they're really putting their bets on their custom chip, which is Tranium 2. Right now in the news, as we're filming this, it was just broken. They're trying to get the kind of rival to OpenAI, Anthropic, to take an investment that includes needing to use their homegrown Tranium 2 chips. Mm -hmm. The reason is they're ordering a ton of them. <laughs> they need someone to use them. And who designed Tranium 2? It's Marvell. In addition, Marvell has huge tailwinds in all the other areas I'm watching right now and think have big growth in 2025. We can look at the interconnects, kind of the networking technology inside the data center and who has the most substantial market share in that. Well, you look at across categories, Marvell's close to the top. You look at connecting multiple data centers together. You know, we've talked about how we, we might be connecting data centers to do these big training runs. Who has a pluggables market for a lot of these optics that's seeing some of the biggest growth? It's Marvell. So it's kind of whenever I look at a category and think who's going to see the most growth, Marvell lines up very well with that. And they just get this kind of near-term catalyst from Amazon being the one cloud company that needs to spend the most. So I'm doing a larger investment in them because I think it's strategic and potentially a little short-term. So would I be averse to taking that down if we get a you know a quick 30 or 40% growth on it? Maybe I'll reallocate that to other companies. But I like where they're strategically positioned for 2025. Um, and I, I should say too, there's there's a great blog. They've really been hammering this same fabricated knowledge. If anyone wants, wants more of the Marvell story, they've been covering that well. 